Hello and welcome to the Sleep Cove podcast, helping you get a great night's sleep. Please listen to this recording in a place where you can comfortably and safely go to sleep. Tonight's recording is a sleep hypnotherapy episode designed to help you dial up your confidence. I recommend you listen to this episode a few times to get the full benefits of the subconscious suggestions I make to you about increasing your confidence. I really hope you enjoy it. And let's begin. You are going to enjoy a very pleasant and a very beneficial experience. Be sure that you will not be disturbed. And if you need to attend to something that is important, you can do so. Now get yourself into the most comfortable position for you in the bed. Stretch out your back, keep your legs separated and do a little stretch and a little movement just for you. And then gently rest your arms by your sides. Once we begin, you can help this relaxation process by remaining quiet and being passive. Our first goal is for you to become aware of your body. And you can do this and achieve this by avoiding movement. The first thing that I want you to do is to fix your eyes at a spot on the ceiling overhead and pick out an imaginary spot and stare at that spot without moving a muscle. Now take a deep breath and fill your lungs and exhale slowly and relax now and take a second and even deeper breath taking all the air that your lungs can hold exhale slowly and relax and sleep now now let your eyelids close you will always be able to open your eyes if you want to. Hypnosis is a state of mind and not a state of eyelids being closed. Now I want you to mentally picture and imagine that you are looking at the muscles in the tips of your toes of your left foot. In your imagination, follow these muscles as they move back into the ball of the foot In your imagination, follow these muscles as they move back into the ball of the foot, back into the arch and all the way back into the heel. Now turn all those muscles loose and let them grow limp and lazy, just like a handful of loose rubber bands. Now as the muscles begin to relax, Just let your mind relax too and let your mind drift off where it will and let your mind drift off to pleasant scenes in your imagination. And now let the relaxation move on up into the ankle now. From the ankle all the way up to the left knee. The calf muscles begin to grow loose and limp heavy and so relaxed. All of your tensions are fading away. You're relaxing much more easily and with each breath you take, you detense and relax even more, sinking into the bed and into the chair. Begin breathing more deeply now and just as you breathe each night, when you are deep and sound in slumber. Just imagine that you can see your breath as a white mist coming from your nostrils. Each and every time that you exhale this white mist, you are freeing yourself of tension and going deeper and deeper into drowsy relaxation. Now let the wave of relaxation that started from the toes of your left foot just a few seconds ago, let it move over now 
into the toes of your right foot, back into the arch, and all the way back into the heel. You can wheel those toes if you want to, and turn all those muscles loose, and go deeper and deeper into relaxation. And into the ankle, the muscles let go, and from the ankle all the way up to the right knee, the calf muscles are becoming loose and just letting go. You're relaxing more and more with each breath that you take, with each sound that you hear, each sound carries you deeper and deeper into sleep. If you feel that you're hearing things in the distance and you're not needed, these sounds can just relax you even more. From the knee all the way to the right hip, the long muscles grow limp and lazy. Now as those muscles relax, just go all the way down, deeper and deeper in drowsy slumber. Turn them all loose and go deeper in sleep. Now the wave of relaxation moves on up into the stomach now, into the solar plexus, the center of nervous energy. And each muscle and nerve lets loose the tensions, relaxing even more. You're drifting down deeper and deeper in sleep, down deeper in slumber. Up through the ribs, the muscles relax into the broad muscles of the chest and the muscles of the chest grow limp and loose and are so relaxed and all your tensions are just fading away now. You're relaxing now with each beat of your heart going deeper into drowsy slumber, into the neck and the muscles let go, and all around the neck the muscles relax, just as they relax each night, when you are deep and sound in sleep. Turn them all loose and go deeper and deeper in slumber, and now let the relaxation start, down your back, from the base of the skull to the base of your spine, and each muscle and nerve along the spine lets loose the tension, relaxing you, drifting you down, deeper and deeper into sleep, down deeper into drowsy slumber, and you take big breaths, filling your lungs with purifying, amazing oxygen, and you relax and exhale that wonderful feeling out, and the wave of relaxation spreads out into the broad muscles of the back, across the small of your back, all the way across the back to your shoulders, and you turn every muscle loose and every nerve in the back, and you go deeper and deeper and deeper into sleep, into the shoulder the muscles let go and from the shoulders down to the elbows of both arms, the upper arm muscles are turning loose, easing off and are just relaxing now. From the elbows down to the wrists of both arms, the forearm muscles grow limp and lazy. From the wrists to the fingertips of both hands, each muscle and nerve Let's loose the tensions, relaxing. You're drifting down now, deeper and deeper into sleep. Into the jaw, the muscles relax. Your jaws are parting slightly. Teeth are not quite touching. And all around the mouth, the muscles just let go. And up through the nose, Every nerve gives way, all around the eyes, 
the muscles are heavy and so relaxed. Even your eyebrows are relaxing now. Across the forehead, the muscles smooth out. Across the top of the skull, down the back of the neck, down through the temples, back around the ears. All the muscles are loose and lazy, just like a handful of loose rubber bands. And you may feel now a pleasant tingling sensation in the tips of your toes or in the fingertips. A pleasant sensation growing stronger and stronger now. As your entire body is being bathed in the pleasant glow of complete and utter relaxation. You are completely relaxed and each muscle and nerve in your body is loose and limp and relaxed and you feel so good. Now that you are relaxed, I want you to focus on your breathing and notice that each time you exhale, your level of relaxation is increased. I want you to imagine yourself in a county fair setting. You enjoyed going to the fair so much when you were younger. Relive that enjoyment and take in all the sights and aromas of the fair and see all the rides, the concession booths, the games, the people enjoying themselves. Take in the aromas of the popcorn, the hot dogs, the hamburgers and the cotton candy. As you walk through the fair, a game booth draws your attention. Across the front of the booth is a large yellow banner that reads Reach your desired level of relaxation. You stop and talk to the attendant. As you are talking you would notice that there are ten balloons of various multicolours in front of you. These are attached to a board at the back of the booth. And you also notice there is a folded piece of paper in each balloon. But of course you can't tell what the paper says. You also notice that on the counter in front of you are ten darts in colours matching the balloons. One colour for each balloon. You pick up the first dart which is white. And it matches the white colour of the first balloon and you hurl it at the balloon. And the balloon bursts and the paper unfolds and it reads you are completely relaxed. You watch and read as the note falls down and settles on the ground. You pick up the second dart, this time it is green, and you toss it at the green balloon, balloon number two, and your aim is perfect and the balloon bursts and the note unfolds, and you read it as it slowly falls on the ground, and it reads, my body is relaxing more and more. You pick up the third dart and throw it at balloon number three. It's a blue dart going into a blue balloon, and the balloon bursts and the note falls and it reads, all tension is leaving my body. You follow the note with your eyes as it gently falls to rest on the ground, and you focus on your breathing, and you notice how each time you exhale, it increases your level of relaxation. Now you pick up dart number four, and this time it is a yellow dart and you throw it at the yellow balloon, balloon number four. And the balloon bursts and the note falls out. And it reads, my body is completely relaxed even more. Again you follow the note with your eyes and read it while it is falling gently to a rest on the ground. And now you pick up dart five. 
and this is a pink balloon and a pink dart. And you're really getting quite good at this and you toss the dart at balloon number five and it bursts and the note falls out and it reads, it feels so good to have complete deep physical relaxation. And you continue to read this note as it gently falls on the ground. At this point you realise how good it is to relax and you wish you could relax your mind. And you pick up dart number six which is orange and you throw the dart at the orange balloon and the note falls out and it reads your wish is granted, you will now relax your mind and you feel even more deeper relaxed and you let all thoughts leave your mind and you read the note with your eyes falling following it all the way down to the ground and you pick up dart number seven which is purple and you break the purple balloon number seven and the note falls out and reads all busy thoughts are now leaving your mind your mind is calm blank and relaxed and again you read the note all the way down until it settles on the ground you can't wait to break the next balloon and you pick up dart number eight which is a grey colour and you hurl it at the grey balloon number eight. It's a direct hit and the piece of paper falls out and the paper unfolds and reads. You are doing wonderful. Your mind and body is relaxing completely and you read the note on its journey down to the ground complete relaxation and you let it happen as you go deeper, deeper, more relaxed and you really like this game and your mind is relaxed and your body is relaxed and you feel wonderful and you pick up dart number nine and it is red and you break the red balloon number nine and the paper falls out and reads your mind and body is relaxing deeply, deeply, more and more with each breath you take, with deeper and deeper relaxation, and you enjoy this feeling of deep mental and physical relaxation, and this feeling of total peace and relaxation comes over you, and you let it happen, and this time you notice it takes longer for the paper to drop to the ground, you have more time to read the message and the message of complete relaxation enters your subconscious mind and the note falls down and down and comes to a rest on the ground. In eager anticipation, you pick up the last dart and break the last balloon. It was a rainbow multicolored dart and the balloon was full of rainbow colors and the note that falls out is larger and the words are bolder and it reads you are totally and completely relaxed mind and body in the highest state of relaxation that you have ever experienced and you take a moment to enjoy this achievement profound peace and complete relaxation and you follow the note with your eyes as it slowly descends and it finds its place on top of the other notes and it leaves you in a state of utter, complete and total relaxation and you enjoy this feeling of profound peace and total mental and physical calm And you look around and you see you are not in the county fair anymore. You're in a very safe and comfortable place. This place 
you love it so much. And it can be somewhere where you've been before, or it could be somewhere completely new. All you know is that this place is for you right now to relax, to observe, and to be yourself, your true authentic self, and to be more confident, and the person you know you are and can be, and you take one moment just to relax, take a deep breath, and settle in this place. And you close your eyes. And you breathe in the cleanest, freshest air you have ever breathed in. And you continue breathing very deeply as you listen to the sound of my voice. Experiencing your belly. Rising up with each breath and then dropping and falling with each breath out. That's right, those deep, comfortable breaths feel so good in this safe and special place. It feels so good. And when you are like this, you feel that no one and nothing could bother you. You feel very confident in yourself and your ability with dealing with these situations. But at other times, you can be a little flustered and stressed, as though everything was going wrong. We are going to use this safe place and the calming, relaxed sensations you are experiencing now to increase your confidence So, wherever you are in the conscious world, and whatever you may be doing, we're going to create our own personal confidence switch, a meter that you can turn up and become as confident as ever. Consider that you have a wonderful mind. This is part of you and it holds your memories. It knows all there is to know about you and it is awake and working on your behalf. And I'm going to speak to this deep subconscious part of your mind now. It doesn't really matter that you're paying close attention to this, but you can accept it on a subconscious level. Your subconscious is a good part of your body and your brain as it helps you overcome hurdles and barriers, and I'm going to be speaking to your subconscious brain to give you more confidence and you will accept these suggestions. Your subconscious controls things like walking down the road. You just know how to do it. You're not consciously thinking about how your feet work or where you are going. And this is what we want with your confidence. We want you to be naturally confident and not think consciously about how to be confident. With all these skills, you can rely on your unconscious mind to do these things for you. We are all born self-confident. We are all born with the ability to relax and be at ease with all situations. And we all know deep down how to be self-confident and we have been self-confident before. Holding a relaxed attitude can help and just watch and observe what is going around you at any one time and don't necessarily rush into things that are going to leave you flustered. You can now draw on your subconscious mind for your natural talent for self-confidence and you can watch the world going about its business even though 
you are aware of what is going on, your thoughts and your opinions. You simply take it easy and just observe what is going around you. Because you are relaxed and at ease, and in this moment, you always know what is the right thing to say. You've done it before and you can do it again. This comes to you now effortlessly. This new confidence and you can let your unconscious mind handle it for you very easily. And because you are relaxed and at ease in the present moment, you superbly always know to say the right thing and to do the right thing. And again you find yourself knowing what to do in the situation before you. Isn't this going to be amazing? You won't have to struggle consciously to come up with the confident ideas. They'll just flow naturally to you. And to help with this, I want you to look into your mind's eye and imagine a room, a monitor room, a room that is controlling your mind. And get a sense of how the room sounds how it feels to be there and what it looks like and take a little look around the gauges are here the controls are here they're all here to help you function in your life and after a while looking around you notice there is a meter that is marked confidence and you notice the level that it is reading now And you look at the dial and the meter and you think, what level of confidence would be good for me in the everyday? And an idea comes to mind. And you turn the meter up to the confidence level that will help you in your everyday. And you reach and turn the dial until it reaches that chosen number the level of confidence that you want. And it clicks into place. And you double check and you see that it is the right level for you now. And it can be adjusted again at any time. And you can move and tweak this level until you are happy and content with where it is. You can come back to this monitor room at any time you like and change the level if you need to. And at the moment you know it is set just for you. So in everyday life, into the future, you will feel more confident, more self-assured and know what to say because you know you have altered the meter in your mind's eye. You've done it. That confidence level has been set. And of course, as I said before, you can change it. But you know that you have changed it yourself with just some suggestions into your subconscious level. And it feels so good now as you imagine that in the future Scenarios appear, scenarios appear in your mind's eye when you are talking to people that the added confidence you have from your new confidence meter makes all the difference. It's such a good feeling. And you may even remember a place in the past where you have been really confident and you know that these confident experiences are going to be happening more and more because it's just for you and you can come back to this feeling of relaxation if you do get stressed and a little bit unconfident and you can think ah my level has been reset and I do feel more confident I'm just taking a little break out 
but my confidence levels have improved. I did it in my mind's eye and it is now set. So I am calm, composed, ready and more outgoing if I want to be. And I can do this when I choose to be. And it feels so good and I feel so relaxed. And I'm going to take this forward into the everyday conscious world. 